hello viewers today i'm going to show you some cooking gadgets you might want to have in your you might want to keep in your kitchen these are very helpful one of them is like this so this is what you know you're very familiar with this i believe but this is really helpful what you can do you see especially with garlic i like to use it garlic and ginger this is very helpful a lot of people don't use this for garlic and ginger but these are very helpful there is a new version what happens whatever you scrape here it stores here so instead of this this is fine but if you want to have a, a better version of this you might want to buy this one this is very helpful scrape it it will store here do this just take it out of this so one thing you might want to have it's very helpful okay this what not to buy do not buy this cheap chinese product always try to avoid as much as you can this chinese product i bought it for uh, a garlic it doesn't work one of them i think i broke even you put the garlic here you press it here you press it here it should come out through this it doesn't don't buy this another you keep it here this one might work a little bit if you do this one you keep the garlic here look you keep the garlic here you press it down and also keep doing this you know but it's not it should not be very helpful you know or it is not very helpful because the space is too limited this is a better version of this this is the best all right the next thing you might want to have is this you know what it is it's very helpful sometimes it will help you a lot you might want to save some energy this is to open the jar like this one sometimes this is not actually it doesn't get stuck some of them get stuck really bad it just it's for better grip easy okay and this is silicon it looks good you see i did i kept it i didn't take it off because if you hang it it looks good too this is a nice piece red vivid red vibrant red another thing the, many of you guys have it i believe this is a very helpful scissor a lot of people don't mind keep it keep a scissor in the uh, kitchen because they think it's scissor is for paper cutting scissor is for some other uh, reason but a good scissor kitchen scissor is very helpful all right another thing pizza sometimes pizza even though they cut it they get stuck and if you want to tear it it doesn't look good you might want to keep one of these these are not very uh, expensive this is for cutting uh you can cut uh, tortilla, you can cut uh, pizza, you can also cut, you know, dough. If you want to make some, uh, you know, baking stuff, you can also cut this with this. If it's thin, if it's thick, you don't want to use this. I mean, thick dough, not good for it. Uh, thick, but it's thin dough, very good. I didn't find it very useful. This is what it is. Let me show you what it is. So you wear it when you were, uh, you, uh, the beginners might find it helpful chop stuff you don't want to cut your finger so this is how you chop so look what happens let's say you're chopping uh, I'm taking a knife here so even if it knife hits here it should not uh, cut it it should not cut it so this is what it is you see it you don't cut so this one is for beginners who are like uh, scared of cutting chopping uh, or who are not familiar with their knife skills you might want to use one of these but whoever is already you know know have, has been dealing with uh, knife skills or knife it, i don't think this is very necessary another thing you might want to keep is one of these but this is not a good one you know what it is you, what you want to keep is this one the thick one I found this one is better you you get what you pay for can opener so the thing is that don't buy this skinny the skinny thing is not it's kind of you know uncomfortable to use it more comfortable and it's it stays and it lasts for long this is can opener good a little good way better all right then the next thing is gonna be 
Okay, this guy I forgot to show you this. This one is uh pretty pretty much like this, but it has more option. You see it has more options, like very skinny, very thin. This is little uh, thicker and this is a different one. You see that? So when you chop something, it will slice here. But you have to be very careful. You don't want to, uh, you know, slice your fingers. So you go like this and it should uh, chop. I mean, like it should thinly slice uh, garlic, sometimes onion, sometimes uh, ginger. All right. This one is for, you know, for cantaloupe. You see the difference? This is already bent. I never used it. I don't think you need it. I bought it, but you don't have to buy this kind of, you know, special uh, knife. You don't need to have this one of these. Okay. This one is more special, you know, for, uh, I didn't find it useful. But you might find it useful if you cut something like a thick, but I don't suggest it. You might want to use, you know, another knife for you know cutting thick uh, beef or something I mean like thick meat so this is not very useful all right that's it for today thank you viewers thank you for watching if you please hit the like button at least if you don't want to subscribe that's fine at least hit the like button and also let me know which uh, it uh, tools which gadgets you like most and even if you something is not here which one would you like prefer which one do you use most in your kitchen and in your view which one is the best i have more i'm going to show you more basic knife basic uh, kitchen stuff thank you